So in this video, we're going to continue to calculate um, our normal distribution. So I am going to, um, next I'm going to insert two columns. So I'm going to left, right click, and I'm going to go insert left, and insert one left. Um, and this is going to allow us to do, to have the spreadsheet do the normal distribution calculation. So I'm going to type in normal distribution formula. And we're going to put a formula in there. We don't need to understand what the formula is doing. We just need to know, know that the formula is in there with the, from the computer and that it works. And the normal, we're going to kind of, uh, we have to scale the values we get in order to get it to graph properly. So that's why we're going to put this other normal distribution in there. And again, to get these to go big, I didn't explain that. So if it's short like that, if I get my little arrows up there and I see that little blue line, I can just double click and it will make it bigger automatically. All right, so to my normal distribution formula, I'm gonna type an equal sign. Um, I don't think I had you guys do this over here. So, um, no, I think we did it with the last one. We did, okay, so we're good. Um, so I'm gonna go equals normal, and I want this one that says norm dist, normal distribution function. And then we're going to pick this first value, so this F2 value, comma. And then I'm going to grab my mean. And then we have to do kind of a weird step here to get this to work. So you're going to hit the button F4 on your computer. And then we're going to type in here some dollar signs in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to lock that number so it doesn't change at all. It's just going to keep that number. And then I'm going to do the same thing here for standard deviation. So I'm going to hit that button there for, I'm going to hit, where is it? Uh, D4. And then I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard. And then I'm going to type the little dollar signs in there. So dollars, dollars. And I'm going to go comma false. Type in the word false and spell it correctly and hit enter. And then we should get a value there and that's what the normal distribution part of the formula is calculated so either i can drag this down or if i let's see if i can get it to work if i double click on that arrow look all the scores got filled all those values got filled in now the problem is is that these don't match these dis distribution over here very well it's not scaled very well so we're going to scale it so i played with my numbers um so i know that my scale should be i should need to multiply by 3000 for yours the scale should be 5000 so you're going to multiply do the same calculation but do it with a 5000 so i'm going to go equals this number times 3000 for mine and it's looking a little bit closer Hopefully mine look a little closer. I don't know. I think my data may have been messed up a little bit, but it looks a little closer. 21 is a lot closer to 29 than this 0 0.007. So that's looking a little bit better. They're a little bit closer in range. All right. So now we're going to actually graph these, um, graph this into a normal distribution. Okay. Um, so we're going to come over here to insert. Actually, no, not yet. We're going to highlight. So I want to highlight column F. I'm going to hold my control key down and I'm going to highlight the normal distribution column and just my plain distribution column. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a normal distribution laid over a histogram. So I'm going to now go to insert chart. There it comes. Okay. Um, and what I want to do is I want to come over here to chart type and I want to switch it to this one right here. Oops, too fast, too fast. Chart type. Um, I want to switch it to this one right here where I've got a combo chart. And then in my combo chart, um, I want to, let's see, oh, I need to use F as column labels. That's going to change a little bit. And notice this is looking very, very good for a normal distribution right here. Not sure my histogram is working out very well. Yours will work out much better than mine does. Then um, I'm going to come over here to where it says customize. And in chart style, I want to switch this to smooth. Okay. And then I am going to come down to, I don't really need, you could probably put, we could make our chart title um, normal curve for yours could be test scores or midterm scores. Mine's going to be ice cream profit then i'm going to come down to series and this is where the true magic happens here 
Um, so I am going to get rid of apply to all series. I'm going to go to normal distribution. And I won't want that in columns. I want that to be a line or a curve. So I'm going to switch that to a curve. And then I'm going to come here to where it says distribution. I'm going to switch that to columns. Mine did not turn out well. I don't know what happened to my data between me playing with it earlier and now. But you can kind of see it kind of looks like I missed some data in here. I may have missed copying and pasting something. So, but it looks like it's sort of normally distributed, especially if I had all those, all of that in there. Um, so, and it looks like I could, it should really, my curve should be higher. Yours should be actually up here. And then um, if you want to mess with, let's see, we don't need data labels. We can get rid of the legend. So you can turn your legend um, to none. And then I think I wanted to do, where was it? No, I think we're good. I think that's the last little bit that we need to worry about. Um, I know there was a place where I could, nope, I can't find it. All right, so there is our normal curve and our distribution. So we will keep, if we want to, we can, scroll that a little bit more. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to import this into um, Google Draw. So the ne to get it into Google Draw, the first thing you're going to do is right click and then you're going to, sorry, you're going to just click on it and you're going to hit control C and then you'll control V to put it into Google Draw. So it's control C and then control V. Uh, 